Hey guys. Wait. Nobody would come between us. And now the street is clear. How are you? Hey Kilis. Hello Istanbul. I'm in East Harlem. And this is the fourth Banksy in town. We're doing a series. Hey Anna. Uh, this is not confirmed yet, but hopefully Banksy will upload it into his Instagram account real soon. You remember the one I told you that's in Brooklyn? So he uploaded it on his Instagram today. And this one is already destroyed, the one in Brooklyn. So I thought it's gonna be a good idea to come see this one now before people are gonna tag it and write all over it. So there you go. You can see it nice and clear. Hey Wilma, hey Eugene, hey Elvio, Georgia, Myra, hey Maria, hey Tim, hey Joanne, hey guys. Okay, so now we can say, um, I think it's, it is. Because the one in Brooklyn, it took him like three or four days to uh -huh. confirm. And that one is already destroyed, and this one, I think he's gonna announce it next. You're gonna announce it? He's gonna okay. announce it again next. This it's been one. like a week. I live around here. How? And I saw it go up. It was like uh, four days ago, something like that? Yeah. yeah. At least four or five days. Yep. So this is like, apparently, 99% it's the new, the fourth new one is now. Okay. Yeah, my, yeah. My friend texted me yesterday a link that he was in New York again. He and is? Then, yeah. Uh, Bowery and Housen, that yes. famous mural, he did something And there. that was already a uh, tag, people already doodled on it. Uh, the one on Bowery and the rat okay. in the clock on uh, 14th Street and 6th Oh, I didn't know about that. Oh, yeah, my co-worker <laughs> told me that. Yeah, this one is good, but I the three others... I thought that was others, an old one already. And this one is still clear, nobody, you know... Well, can... no, somebody tagged it. Yeah, oh, so it wasn't there before? No! So, you know, I look, heard... I, 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 I heard, like, they did a look. cooperation. Oh, man, wait, can I... Uh, did you take this one? Yeah. Okay, so... See, look, Tuesday, 7.51. So this has been there since last week. Oh, man. See? So it was more than four or five days. And they already tagged this I one noticed as well. It. I noticed oh my God, this... Uh, I'm so yeah, that morning. Yeah, look, 7.51. What, the doodle? Yeah, you know somebody wrote it's like a corporation between uh, Banksy and the other artist, and it's uh, not, definitely not. It's just like, uh, we tagged on it later on. Yeah, because uh, I was walking, I said, wait a second. Is that a Banksy? Because I, yeah. I didn't know he was back in Europe. <laughs> um, yeah, so see, this one is already tagged already. So it's supposed to be without the black part in here. And uh, I'll let you know if it's confirmed or not. As soon as I'll know myself. But for now, we can keep on walking on East Harlem and walk to some people. Thank you, man. Okay, Bye. Ah, uh, can you? <laughs> it's gonna be hard. The graffiti is already there. And that's what happened with Banksy last time he was here. People destroyed his art. And that's why I'm doing my best to come see it and take you guys as soon as I can. Because out of four pieces I know of in the city that were made this past week, three are already destroyed. Uh, at least in this one you can still see the, you know, the original painting. It didn't paint over it, just next to it. Ah, uh, that's the story, basically. The city is all huff and but <laughs> everybody's talking about it basically. I'm trying to find a new Banksy before the <laughs> local graffiti artists are coming to tag it and destroy it. Okay, so now that we are past this excitement, um, this is a nice opportunity for us to walk in East Harlem. Uh, you can see the sun. It's a little bit cold, and one day we're supposed to have a big snowstorm that will come to the city. So you can expect a lot of snowy walks 
Looks like there's gonna be a lot of snow and it's gonna be accumulating. So we're gonna have a white New York City again, which is pretty sweet. Hey, Paolo, Terry. Yeah, they just don't like um, when people invade their territory, the locals. So that's uh, the way they show their opinions about uh, banks he visit. And they also, I think, don't appreciate all the fuss um, that people are so excited about whenever he comes and uh, not as much public relations for their own work. I think it's a little bit of each. Oh. Oh. oh my god, he just threw up an orange all the way across the street. I didn't uh, change the angle of the camera, but it just smashed on the building. And yeah, I think you can very well feel the East Harlem vibes in this video already. It's pretty unusual if you compare it to all the other videos I've made here in the city. This is stand out for everything. Hey Emma, Terry, yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Um, I think also because so many people take photos and videos and talk about his work, they just want to add their own impact so now when I took the video you can see Banksy's work but also the other artist so it gets that's the way like riding on his back getting to more people by um, I don't know doodling next to Banksy's art basically hey Cindy hey Michael Hey Adriana! So yeah, don't let the sun fool you, it's still cold in here. And uh, we're gonna visit a part in Central Park we haven't seen for a long time. We have visited there before, but not lately. And I know I promised to do the north... The uh, northwest part of Central Park as well. Today we'll do the northeast part. And we'll see how it goes from there. Hey Phil. Uh, hey Charlotte. Wait, what did I miss? This is East Harlem. So Central Park is between you have the East Harlem and the West Harlem. And um, yeah, can you? Can you get the atmosphere through this video? I'm sure you can, you know, just uh, talking to the man earlier in this video and then the kid, like the kids, little gang throwing out fruits all over, all across the street to the buildings trying to hit the light. Yeah, that's, that's the vibe here. And... Uh, it's get quieter as we walk towards uh, Central Park. Now we're on uh, Park Avenue and 110th Street. Hey Sharon, good to see you. Hey Carmen. So this is a pretty unusual walk for you and I. Let's walk under the bridge. So 110, 110th Street is where Central Park, the uh, north entrance to it. And on the south is 59th Street. So it goes all the way between 59th and 110th Street. Hey Fernando, I'm well, how are you? Is this, Elvia, is this a dangerous area? Moshe always knows when to call me. That's 
Yeah. Um, so you know, I do not know that uh, area very well, but I'm walking here with a gimbal and a phone, taking a video. Um, I don't feel it. I don't. I don't feel it dangerous. But uh, as I mentioned before, it does have different vibes than walking around the main touristic area of Manhattan, definitely. But I'll say it's pretty safe. Just, you know, whenever you go, when you travel, just take care, uh, be aware of your surrounding and uh, nighttime is always more dangerous than uh, when light is out under the sun. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not brave at all. So if you just join, hey Dolores, willing to wait? Uh, flashing? There is no flashing. Hopefully the video comes out in good quality. And uh, the sound is, should be working well for you guys. You should be able to hear clearly everything that I say and a little bit sound from the street. And you should be able to have a clear view of the street. Anytime, if there's anything else you hear or see, just let me know so I can fix it for you. And that you can all enjoy this walk. Flat. Well, some places are less flat than others. Like on the east side, it, there might be some small hills you'll have to overcome. Not hills, just it's not gonna be as flat as other parts. Ah, uh, Michael! Hey, Edith! Oh, thank you! I appreciate that! This is East Arlen, with Peter, we're walking towards uh, um, Central Park. Which devices I sure I um, mentioned it numerous times, but I'm happy to do it again. I'm using a gimbal stabilizer, uh, the iPhone X, and a microphone for the sound. That's basically oh, and the um, portable Wi Fi for the internet connection, so you have, will have a better reception. You're supposed to be better than the um, ordinary scene on your phone. Okay, I wanna repeat the beginning of this. Uh, the start of this video, we started on 110th Street and 2nd Avenue, watching the 4th Banksy drawing in town, which is not confirmed yet. We're still waiting for a Banksy confirmation. Uh, but definitely look like looks like a Banksy. So that was the third Banksy we covered this week. Uh, we also covered the Rat in the Clock in 14th Street and 6th Avenue, and the mural, Bowery mural, um, on Barry and Houston. And. There is a fourth one we haven't seen already in Brooklyn, in Coney Island Avenue and uh, Avenue I, which I've told you about a few days ago and it's now confirmed Banksy uploaded the photo in his Instagram account. Um, and the reason why I tell you all this and um, we keep chasing Banksy, uh, it's a few reasons. A, it's a, he's a world-known uh, artist and his art has impact, has a lot of positive impact, he's doing a social good. Um, and the second reason is I want to let you know his year and where you can find his work, because they tend to be destroyed by local artists very quickly. So I'm letting you know as soon as I can so you can see it for yourself without all the tagging and doodling all over it. That's as far as the start of this video goes. Now I'm with you. Uh, 
Hey Becky! Yes, we are on the north. We are on the north. Uh, hey Bernard, good morning for you, good afternoon for us. Uh, oof, I forgot what I wanted to say. That we are on the uh, northeast entrance to Central Park. We visited this place live, I think only one time before. Uh, that's the Harlem Mir. And I actually want to take you to the garden, which is a beautiful garden in here. Let's see if I can um, sort my thoughts here. So we can find a way. I'm with you. Oh yes. Uh, where are yeah. I'm getting phone calls every five minutes because um, I don't know how so many moving companies got my phone number and they just keep calling and calling. And it's a little bit insane. Um, but yes, we'll we'll take our, care of it soon. So there are definitely people here today. Uh, last time we were here, we were basically the only people walking. But today it looks pretty busy in here. Taking into account we're in the north part. So tourists almost don't go all come all the way here. They usually stop at a reservoir. And I'm trying to figure out... Okay, I'll just cross. I haven't been here for so long. So I try to... Um, navigate myself. While talking to you guys. It is cold. Actually, it's not that bad. It's like uh, 7 degrees Celsius. Like the sun is nice and warm. 7 degrees Celsius, around 40 Fahrenheit, something like that. Uh, as long as we're in the sun, it's pretty good. I'll let you see how it looks from the other side. Actually, you know, uh, this was the place we missed during Christmas. This is the one Christmas tree. I missed it. It was right there. Right here. And we never got to it. Next year, hopefully, for the collection. Hey, Bishop. Yeah, so if you are, if you've been in the city many times and you're looking for some different options, so the north part of Central Park is a really good option and there is also a beautiful garden over here but in my head I misplaced it so trying to figure out how to get there without oh shutting this app and opening my Google Maps maybe we can ask somebody Maybe I was confused, maybe this was on the, on the west side. Oh, you know what? Oh, man. Wait. I think maybe I'm walking the wrong direction. Shoo. Oh, I really wanted to take you guys to this garden and it should not be far from here. Bonjour, Sammy. Hey, Jose. Hello, Puerto Rico. It's the car. 
corner. Excuse me, is this go west? The west side? Yes. Thank you so much. And the garden, do you know where the garden is? Conservatory yeah. gardens? So they're on the other side. Of the mirror? Yeah. Okay. So if that go over it and it's gonna be on that side. So if you go if you go straight towards Fifth Avenue here yeah. and then turn right, right. around the mirror, I it's should right be. on that side. Thank you so much. Sure. Okay. So I walked where I thought I was walking which is from east to west but I misplaced the garden in my head and it's supposed to be right behind the mirror so we'll have to walk all the way over it now let me see so we're basically going back now hey Pamela let's see Right or left? Let's um, let's go right. And in Central Park, you can find small hills, but they're all artificials, as far as I know. Hey, Dory. Hey, Becky. That's so sweet of you. Sure, my pleasure. Hey. Yeah. So we got a little back bit lost but now we're back on track on uh, oh the squirrel people and squirrels moment are so sweet usually as long as there is no attack on none of the sides donut and a coffee well uh, still waiting for mine, so you know. Oh, look at the view. Look at the reflection. The garden is beautiful, so it's gonna work the trip. And for spring, it's gonna be covered in flowers, so I'm guessing we'll probably come back to see it. We're gonna do a spring garden tour to see all the flowers everywhere in the city. Hey Yaki! Hey Dominic! Hey Rose! Uh, yes, we are in um, North East Harlem. This is the north end of Central Park. The south end is on 59th Street. We just so we started the video on uh, 110th Street and 2nd Avenue, watching the horse Banksy in town. Now we're going to the conservatory garden to see some flowers. If I'll find my way there. Looks like we're gonna need to climb on this hill. So I take the right side. are fishing here. And I was and what you was talking and when I said I wish I could go with you, how you Yes, yeah, sunny day and we have a nice view. A lot of photographers here today. That's like the fourth say fifth, four, five, six. Wonder if there's any like oh they're taking a photo of the heron. There's a great grey heron. Great heron standing there. It's a kind of a big bird. I seen it so many times. Times I'm not. It's always exciting to see wildlife, but uh, this bird is kind of special in here. So the photographers came to snap some photos. Hey, Nova. Hey, Miriam. starting to go south. Yes, we've definitely done this part before. Hey Alberto! <laughs> hey Yoshi! 
exclusive. Look at the sky. So pretty. Oh, Amy. Hi, good afternoon, Sylvia. Yeah, you can hear the birds in here. This is actually a good, if you're a birder, that's a nice place to come spot some uh, species. Right. Taking some of my gear off now. See? Oh, this is what happens. Bam. Okay, fix that. And you try to handle with one hand. Oh, and here is the garden. Oh, it looks so sad without all the flowers. You see it down there? Hey, Tommy. Hello, Tennessee. Yes, I am back. Ah, oh, I'm a little bit overheated. They started being cold and now it's too warm. Bonjour, Sophie. Okay, we're walking our way down to the... I hope it's open because sometimes they close it. And it looks, um, maybe they do some renovation. Looks pretty empty. Usually there's a lot of uh, vegetation in there. Huh. Probably they reorganized the garden for springtime. I'm not sure, but the gate is open so we can walk in. Walk right in. Yes, this is, uh, hey Paula, ha, good evening Philip, hey Eric, um, this is Central Park, this is the north east part of Central Park, and we are in the conservatory garden, look, it's an official quiet zone, ah, you're not supposed to get, uh, come, here with, come in here with bicycles, This is gonna bloom soon. Look. Yeah, soon everything here is gonna be covered in flowers. This is the famous fountain. Oh, everything looks so sad. This is a total different look. Yeah, but I promise you if you come here during spring, summer, even autumn, you're gonna have really pretty sights. See, the tulips are now growing on the ground. So, this is gonna be covered in flowers soon. And around the fountain, it's still empty. I know, Rose. Yeah, we're a little bit early for the garden. Please don't catch, never catch cold. Yeah. What? Yeah, and it's empty, there is no water. Yeah, they never catch cold. The dancers. But the fountain is empty. Look, no water. Oliver, I'm happy you're here with me. Okay, let's go around. Yeah. Two, three weeks, and this place is gonna be blooming. And I promised you a happy, beautiful garden. Let's, um. Ta -ta -ta. Okay, let's go around it. Let's try a different path. You can still see some different colors 
green and red, orange. Hey, Caroline. Uh, <laughs> we are. <laughs> well, it depends where. Uh, what's the determination for there? If it's the conservatory garden, yes, we are here. Um, but it's not at its peak. There's still, it's still cold. So we'll have to wait a few more weeks before everything is back blooming in here and awake. But right now, um, it's still winter. But look. So du during summer, everything here is covered in leaves. It's, it's really beautiful. Now it's just the branches. Oh, maybe we can go up. I don't know if you remember that spot. But my memory is we walking up there and talking about that um, building caught on fire almost a year ago, was it? Less than a year ago. Hey Christina, hello Arizona. Yep, we can go up from here. I know, there is snow coming on Wednesday. Maybe this time it's gonna be accumulating and not just uh, turn into water. Where is everyone? So because we're on the north side of Central Park, this place is not as crowded as the South Park, which is more touristic and it's closer to hotels this part is a lot more quiet but it too has a lot to offer it's just harder to get here so people with limited time um, will go to the south part which is also more known and you have more landmarks in, in there so this, the north part of Central Park will always be less crowded. So if you're looking for some peace and quiet, this is the place to go. See, my phone is not sitting straight on the, in the gimbal. I need to take care of that. Hey, Vanessa another fountain, it's not working. <laughs> the sky is perfect. Thousands of miles. I do. And I've been walking, my shoes been um, a bit tilted, I haven't noticed that and it caused me so much problems, but ugh. Now it's much better. Look at this path. This is gorgeous. Romania, hello. Yeah, that's the garden. There is like a... Is it a heart shaped? I don't know. A little bit, looks like. You can hear the birds. Okay, now I'm in a staircase. Let's go down. Hey, Evelyn. Okay, walking down. I know that's it. It's really, it really is. And uh, we really should come here for spring. I need to remind myself to follow 
the blooming situation in here so we can come when it's peaking. When it's peak time, it's gonna be the most beautiful. Probably very colorful. No sound coming through? No way. Hey Walter, good afternoon. Sound should be good. Iris, hello Australia, Aussie, 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 Madagascar, oh my god, wait, what, Central Park dangerous, no, Central Park, Central Park is not dangerous, especially not if you're in the south part of it, also they close it after midnight, you're not supposed to be here, and in addition, they have a lot of patrols here, so you should be good, but um, having said that, you should not, you know, walk by yourself at night if you're not familiar with the location. But during daytime, there shouldn't be any problem. Hey, Gustav. Thank you, Beth. South Wales. Oh, in May. Oh, so you have to um, keep track on the blooming situation. I'll keep you guys posted in here, but um, different weeks in May will have different lo best location to visit in terms of the cherry blossom. So I'll try to do my best to keep you guys posted so we're not gonna miss any of the locations here. Thank you, Yaki. Um, oh, what area this of Central Park? This is the north east, northeast. So around 110th Street where Central Park ends. We actually went a few blocks down, so maybe around 105. We have some yellow blooming in here and uh, snowdrops or snowbells as I call them. In here, so we do have some flowers. They are so nice and gentle. Oh, you came in February? I think it's gonna be looking very beautiful uh, covered in snow. Oh, thank you, Dennis. My pleasure. Hey, Jane. Okay, we're gonna walk out of here. Um, maybe walk through the mirror again. And now I'm thinking if we're gonna finish with that Banksy again, but I think I'm gonna vote against it this time. So uh, let's start with walking to the mirror. See, I don't know this area as well as I do the other parts in the city because I don't come here very often. So we are doing our best together here, finding a way. That's the gate, let's go outside. Hey Belinda, tomorrow, oh really they changed it for tomorrow, last time I checked it was Wednesday. Okay, we're stepping out of the conservatory garden, walking to the mirror and we are still in Central Park. Everything here is uh, considered as part of Central Park. You can walk down here the stairs all the way to the water. There are so people fishing in there. In here earlier, and saw some unusual birds. Well, not unusual, maybe a little bit rare for the area. I'm putting my hat back on because it's starting to be cold. Shalom, Yasmin. Okay, let's walk a little bit around. You guys want to see? You guys want to see Harlem? Maybe we should do a tour in Harlem. We've never done. We've done a half tour, or maybe a quarter of a tour. Yeah. 
I know there are a few spots like this where you can walk all the way to the water um, around Central Park and also if you cross Central Park from north to south which um, yeah it will take you some time uh, there are some waterfalls and small streams it looks like you're in the middle of a trek in outside of the city basically Canadian goose Oh, they closed. Why is it closed? Yeah, so if you're familiar with the city and you visited Central Park many times and you want something a little bit different, you can just come to the north part of it and just walk your way through. You'll find some hidden gems in here. This place is like a treasure. Okay, they cross this path. We'll have to go around it. Look at the sun. Here comes the sun. Hey Kimberly, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while now. Okay, so we can take a left turn and walk to the street or walk around the lake here. What do you think? You want to see the street or you want to see Central Park? This is both like an unexplored area for us. Billions and billions. From there. On what? On the, on the mirror? On the little house there? We can go around. It had a nice reflection earlier. So I think it's gonna make a nice image. So we'll just walk back there. We'll have a better perspective. Around the lake. Yes, we're walking around the lake. Great choice. It's so quiet in here. It's insane. Oh, they have the names on the trees. That's nice. The species. That's gonna be much easier for me. Attila. ran right towards us. <laughs> Central Park. I know Central Park is high up on your list and mine. At least 50% of my walks are in Central Park. It's, a, it's an awesome place. Helicopter above us. If you hear the noise. People fishing here. So I saw people fish 
fishing um, the south part of Central Park, but I think the method there is catch and release. And I'm not sure it's the same practice in here. But yeah, we saw quite a few fishermen. Hello, I'm good, how are you? Hey Lydia. Walk along the water. Oh look, it's so pretty. It's a nice view. Right there. Lila, hello. What is this sound? Sound like dogs, people yelling? What is it? Can you hear that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know, coming from a distance. Will you visit the Silbank Sea? Hi. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Hey, Octai. So actually we started this video by visiting the third or fourth Banksy. Banksy is not very good with informing his um, followers about his art because um, he announced today after we've been suspecting for a while he has a third painting in Brooklyn. So it's on he only announced it today and it's already been destroyed. If he would have announced it earlier, we might have been able to see it like clear and nice, but now it's a bit too late. So, so I started this video with a Banksy, which is not confirmed yet, and it's already tagged, unfortunately, but you can still see it very clearly, so hopefully it's not gonna get more damage than it is now. I know from his um, last visit five years ago, a lot of pieces were destroyed, um, but some they managed, I'm not sure who was in charge of it, but some were managed to be protected. They just put a glass over it and there is like a 24 seven surveillance camera making sure nobody is damaging. So that's the kid with the hammer. I don't know if you know it. That's a really, that's a one from five years ago. So we were able to see the first two clear and nice without nobody tagging them. We saw them pretty early as, they, as soon as they came up. The one on Bori and Houston is already tagged on. And the one in Brooklyn is already tagged on. And this one we saw today also tagged. So that's what I'm saying. Go as soon as you can. Only thing about it is that you cannot go in the water because of uh, the algae in here. So you will never see people swimming in none of the lakes in Central Park. What kind of fish are you catching here? A uh, largemouth bass. The bass? And do you is it catch and release? Yes. It's catch and release.
Thank you. So, yeah, so it's catching really soon here as well. But here I think maybe it's more common because we saw so many fishermen. Central Park. Yes, and we haven't been here for a while now, for sure. Hey, David, how's Kosher doing? How are you doing? Happy I caught you. What is it, Banksy? Oh, Banksy is a well-known street artist. He's doing social good all over the world. He's um, originally from the UK. Nobody really knows who, is, who he is. His identification haven't been confirmed, never. There have been many documentaries about him and his work. And now he's in New York City, so, you know, it's the talk of the town. That banks his back and it's a race finding his pieces in the city. It's like a treasure hunt, I'll say. So, yeah, so today we saw our third Banksy, live one. We still have one we're missing in Brooklyn, but I'm, I think I'm gonna skip the one in Brooklyn. I'll have to think about it. We'll see. Uh, Japanese garden. Uh, there is one, well, like the, the thing that pops into my mind is the one in San Francisco in Golden Gate Park, which is beautiful. There is nothing like it here uh, in New York City. Uh, yeah, the one in San Francisco is basically is the best I've seen. I'll try to remember if there is one. I don't know any Japanese garden in Central Park. Okay guys, this is the end of our tour. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. I hope I answered all of your questions. And if you have any more, you can always DM me or comment. Hopefully I'll catch you. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye guys.